Yeah, so the first thing you need to do is go to 3dp.rocks slash lithophane. You'll get this page. And all you need to do is you go to images, choose files. Okay. Once you get the image, you will come to this page. And here you can see all the different types of lithophanes that you can create but we are going to focus only on the outer curve one because that's the one that gives me the best results okay so what you can do right now is you can go to settings inside settings go to image settings and make sure that you have made the image to be a positive image instead of a negative because otherwise you will get and a negative image uh, in the final process so make sure that it's turned to positive right here okay uh, mirror image is off uh, flip image everything is off you don't need to focus on any of that go to settings again click on model settings Here you can give the maximum size uh, of your lithophane, how tall you want the lithophane to be. Uh, you can give it any value you want. You can go for the thickness to be around 3mm. The border can be 4. I like to have a border around my lithophane. Uh, the thinnest layer will be around 0.8mm. And the vectors per pixel should be 4. Uh, base stand depth should be 0. Yeah. After you're done making all those changes, you can go back to the model. Make sure to refresh the page because otherwise you will not have the final model as per your settings. Make sure you click this refresh button at least two or three times. And then you can go ahead and download the file. So let me show you how you slice the model. Now you can go to Simplify 3D and go to Import, select the STL file that you just made on 3dp rocks slash lithophane so here is the stl file now uh, if you look at the properties the height of the model is around 220 mm so let's see what happens if i actually go ahead and click on prepare to print okay so Let's bring the slider over here and uh, let's have a closer look. And as you can see, uh, everything looks fine. There is no issues. Uh, if you have a closer look, uh, there are no gaps in the if the model. And there's no no issues. But what happened if I actually reduce the height to be around 50% of the scale? click on done and let's prepare to print and now what you see is these blue blue color highlights on the model which is basically telling us that these are the single extrusions if you look at the feature type and the external single extrusion that is what we actually want to avoid because that basically means that your model is gonna have very thin surface and here you can see some gaps as well these gray gaps are something that you want to avoid otherwise you will get a failed print in the end so let us exit the preview go to the process settings and have a look at the extrusion width make it 0.2 we actually want to make it thin enough so that we don't have those gaps in the model that we saw rest everything else is fine uh, the layer let us make it uh, the primary layer height to around 0.16 mm the top solid uh, layer can be 3 bottom 3 and outline perimeter can be 1 we want only one single outer perimeter and the infill can be 100% additions use a skirt with 10 skirt outlines Infill, we already discussed that. Support, we don't need supports. Uh, temperature, okay. Um, the temperature I use is 205 for my filament. You can select the one that works for you for the filament that you're using. 
okay uh, the cooling uh, the cooling uh, I go with 100% on the second layer the first layer can be zero never print with fan on on the first layer G code uh, scripts speed okay uh, the speed is very important when printing lithophanes make sure you don't print anything higher than around 37 mm per second uh, that's the ideal speed that I uh, I, I feel works really well you click OK and now when you go back to your prepare to print menu you'll notice we don't have those gaps anymore in the model so everything looks solid you have all these uh, features mentioned on the left hand side you can make sure that you don't have any single extrusions and you don't have any uh, gaps so yeah uh, it should be perfectly ready to print so you can go ahead and save the file I already have it so I'm not gonna save it again so yeah uh, let's have a look at how it looks in the end